Why? Why me? Bruno Mars begged Zendaya to be part of his music video, Versace on the Floor, after she nearly destroyed Tom Holland in lip sync battle. Zendaya is probably an actress that's on everybody's favorite list. Everything from her on screen presence to her off screen persona is just admirable, to say the least. Zendaya has a certain charm to her which pulls fans of the entertainment industry towards her, who deem her as one of the most unproblematic people in Hollywood. Her 170 million followers on Instagram can vouch for that. Well, Zendaya's fan following goes a long way as even music icon Bruno Mars couldn't help me enamored by her grace, talent, and beauty. If you aren't aware, Zendaya shows up in one of Bruno Mars' music videos from the 24K Magic album and no, she wasn't hired through agents or auditions. Bruno Mars himself called the actress up and asked him to be in his video. The reason behind Bruno Mars' inclination towards Zendaya makes one hilarious story. Bruno Mars released the music video for Versace on the Floor in August 2017. The video gained over 3 million views within 24 hours of its release. So how did Mars decide that he wanted Zendaya to play the sexy, leading woman in his music video? Well, we are going to have to go back to the time when Zendaya faced off against Tom Holland for lip sync battle. Holland delivered a fabulous performance of Rihanna's umbrella which ultimately resulted in him being declared the day's winner. However, Zendaya wasn't too far behind either as her lip sync to Mars 24K magic was extremely fun to watch and won hearts everywhere, including that of Mars. She was dressed up as Mars in a red pajama set and a white cap identical to the grenade singer. Well, in the end, Zendaya did get to be a part of Mars music video, which is quite a big deal in itself. So while Holland might have won the episode, Zendaya ended up winning much more than that. The video of Versace on the floor currently has more than 400 million views to its name. Zendaya was great in the episode, but Holland took the win home. But it wasn't easy bringing the iconic performance to life. Holland told people that it was more nerve-wracking than Spider-Man, and that it was probably the biggest thing he had to get over. While the only thing that was missing from his Rihanna-inspired getup was a pair of heels, Holland has regrets about not wearing them for his set.